Hi guys and welcome back to Bendy in the Dark Revival. We are on chapter 5. We just had a nice little talk with Wilson about saving his dad. Um, I don't really know what's happening here, but let's find out, shall we? Hi. I don't trust you, dude. My abilities are disabled. Where the fuck did you go? Hello? Oh, shit. I assume I'm relatively okay because his people things know I'm with him now, so. Oh, hello. It's a good thing I came this way. Track 77 is quite a place these days. Ever since that terrible crash a few years back, people don't like to hang around. Too many strange things keep happening on this platform. Last week, one of the railmen told me they had had reports of some train going through that wasn't on the schedule. There are figures standing in the cars, staring through the windows, but, never, but it never stopped to let no one off. Just kept going straight through. Some say it was the Silver Lane Express. The train that crashed. Kitty Thompson. I see. I like how he tells me to stay close, and what do I do? Not stay close. Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't realize you were waiting for me. The demon's evil continues to spread. This world has begun to shudder. Be quiet. What did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. <laughs> Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Uh, huh? The subject will stand in the designated location! Lethal object detected! The subject will submit all weapons for further screening! Disarm now. I don't want to put my fucking gent pipe there. Oh, look at the Tommy gun. Remain still for examination. The subject is cleared for entry. Thank you. Why can I not take my pipe back? You bitches. I don't... Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Hi. Welcome to the civilized world. How do you like my signal tower? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation 
had a demon problem of their own long ago. Indeed. Oh, hello. And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. You never actually killed the Ink Demon, did you? No, he's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form. One that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison, although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? Come along, and no more dawdling. This way now. Okay, Mrs. Potts. Oh, you're here at last. It's so exciting finally having you with us. Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs. And then there's the north wing. Let me guess, we don't go into the north wing. The ink demon got in there a while ago. And ever since, we've had to keep the north wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Only keepers go there these days, and they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So, mind your distance, and you'll be just fine. Uh -uh. Very often I have guests to look after, especially one I can actually talk to. Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. All right, here we are. Best room in the house. You should see where I sleep. Ugh. <laughs> but this room, oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. Okay. For sleeping draft, pinch of salt, cocoa powder, chamomile, soybeans, gilson. Mix everything in a glass and then drink with exactly three sips of water. Okay. Oh God. Jesus fuck, you can actually read the book? Questions? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although, I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But Wilson will keep trying. And do you 
trust, Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the Ink Demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But Wilson takes care of me, keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his mother. Tell me, is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, I, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Just follow the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. Uh, uh. Gilson. What's a Gilson? Good question. Hello. Indeed, what is a Gilson? Maybe it tells us what a Gilson is in here? I really don't want to read the whole fucking thing. I just want to skim it. Okay. Don't have anything to drink it with. Ah! Wow. Let's sit on the toilet. Nice. Nice touch. Can I leave my room? Oh, Mr. Gray. Did 
theory about spaces, Alan Gray. Cooking for every day. Fisherman Jeb's fish guide. Am I actually supposed to know what a Gilson is? I feel like that's a mixture of something and Wilson. I do believe that's where we came in. Okay, hold on. I'm not reading this whole thing. Monic base. A vacuum, blah, blah. Nothing here. Chocolate bacon soup. Saucy cheese buddies recipe. This doesn't help at all. A Gilson fish. There we go. This one strange little fish is pretty hard to come by. The Gilson is not known to be easy to catch and will ignore most bait. To make matters worse, the Gilson can move very fast, making it a rare sight. In the end, I was able to snatch up this little guy with a very clever solution. Apparently, the Gilson is sensitive to sound vibrations and will go into shock upon hearing some sweet music. So crank up the tunes and this fish will be easy to grab. Crush up the Gilson into powder and stir it into water for a powerful soothing drink. So I'm looking for a fish. There's gotta be one here somewhere. You okay, yeah, but where? A fish. You think the fish would be by water, nah? Huh? There's a kitty. Where the fuck would a fish be? expect that to work. Now that's a fish. Ugh, he's too fast. Play him some sweet music. Maybe if it was closer.
Wow. That did it. Looks like the fish is asleep. Gotcha. You can't get away from me, you little stinker. <clears throat> uh, hello. <laughs> I, uh, I uh, forgot the gills in again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen, too. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. <laughs> oh, where did you go? Okay. Just three sips of water. One. Two. Three. Ever, bitch. Angel. <laughs> As angel, to be exact. That's who I am. A sent from above. Embed in perfection. What do you want? <sighs> right to the chase. I like that. The truth is, honey, you're one of a kind. And to put it bluntly, what I want is your face removed, your skin peeled away like paper, and your insides torn out and tossed onto my table. Custom parts ready for my delicious harvest. Jesus. And with your generous sacrifice, I'll be beautiful. Good God. But for now, let's have fun. Plenty of time for a bloodbath later. Ooh, how about a game? Let's all play a game of riddles. Riddles? Oh, what a wonderful idea! No. <laughs> all right, honey. Here's the deal. Behind you is the door to freedom. But it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle and return to your special chair. Then, I'll throw this <laughs> heavenly switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong, you fry. Let's begin. Uh... The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. 
The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. Oh, God. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. <laughs> Recording. The puppet fox? He, he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too pedestrian. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. The fox and the rabbit, the rabbit are nowhere never near sits together. With the bird, but he loves to play for company of the bear. And the bear likes the bird. The puppet fox? Well, he he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too pedestrian. Okay. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. The rabbit and fox are not friends. And bear. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. Okay. After all, they went to school together. Bear and bird sit next to each other. Rabbit and fox are not next to each other. I could be wrong. Apple pie. Thank you. I think I'm very wrong. I think Alice is gonna murder my face. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Ah! Okay. I got the electric here. How about another? That was clearly wrong. Okay then. Uh. Um. 
Okay. Wait. It doesn't like being on the. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. The bird won't have anything to do with a rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. A fox and bird. Fucking bird next to each other, bear and rabbit together. Why is that wrong? The puppet's fox? Well, he, he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too pedestrian. The water on the left. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. And the rabbit and the bear. Understood. Yeah, wait. Yeah, rabbit and... What the fuck? Okay, this is the left. Let's see how I fucked up here. So we got fox. Bird. Oh fuck. Bear. Grab it. Here it comes. Oh, there's still wrong. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> He's just gonna let me out that he's uh-huh. Nobody likes a party pooper. Yeah, says the party pooper. Hell yeah. Give me my powers back. Where do I go now? Oh. Damn it. Oh. There's a ladder. Bullets, did you? Wow. How the fuck am I supposed to win against that? Gotcha! Okay, I'm winning. Are you hiding from me? Ah, uh, yeah? That's precious. Wait, still in my Uh. Help me, Jennifer! I don't want 
tell me when I'm a whole fucking crazy person? Where did you go? I'm hiding. Crazy person? Stop hiding! Start dying! <laughs> what fun in that? Where do you think you're going? Give me our inside! You hiding from me? Oh, that's precious! in my pipe. Where did you go? I'm hiding. No. I know you're out there. Those lovely eyes in a jar. Start dying! Gotcha! You hiding from me? Lovely eyes in it! I know you're out there!
Uh huh. I'm so smart. Are you hiding from me? Uh huh. That's precious. Stop hiding. Start dying.
Can you? Can you though? Hey, fuck you, Alexander. How dare you touch me? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Final curtain, baby. Uh oh. through the heart again? My face. You have my face. It's our face. I'm beautiful. Oh God. Always were. This feels so familiar. Because you did it before, right, Audrey? Alice, I cannot begin to tell you how good it is to see you. And this must be your wolf. Audrey, mm. meet Tom. He's my protector. My friend. You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The <laughs> machine creates many of the same forms. At least, on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. <laughs> oh? What do you have in mind? How about... Allison. Allison. <laughs> it's not bad. Okay, I'll try it out. But, only if you can tell me what in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat. Wilson! I almost forgot. I have to get back right away. Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. That's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the ink demon. For good. And I think he can help us all. I just... I just need to go back and hear him out. Well, if it's true, you'll both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this? Oh my god. I can pet him. Oh my god. <laughs> I can pet him. That's amazing, okay. people run this world if you can have brains or talent you may just sneak through the gates but with a pretty face every door opens the crowd the crowds bow to you they ask your name they want you to attend they ask you to speak a silky voice with gorgeous lips is everyone's weak spot okay i was born with my perfection stolen from me to get it back i'll rip this rotted world apart angels are beautiful angels are beautiful alice angel so this has been you the whole time alice being not so crazy. Oh, look at the cute little Boris. Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. 
Indeed. Hello? Are you good? Yeah, I'm going to get moidoid if I, uh... Hmm. And somehow... I can't use my ability. That's gonna have to be it for another hour long. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Where we will I don't know. Beat the ink demon, I guess. Um Yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe and remember guys, dare to climb, but don't be afraid to fall. Okay. Hey.